We're going to do something a little bit different with this video because I spent so much time struggling to find decent resources on how to do trailer wiring and in the end had to abandon YouTube and ask people I know who actually owned trailers. So right off the bat you should know that trailer light wiring is run in parallel, the same as your home. If you run in series, each light will be darker than the one before it and if it goes out, they all go out just like your old Christmas lights. In series, each light is connected one after the other, electricity goes through the first light before it goes on to the next. In parallel, all the lights are connected to the same source and electricity goes to all the lights at the same time. It'd be a bit of a waste of wire to actually physically attach each light all the way back to the same point, so here's another way to look at it with extensions in between. Hopefully you noticed that I only connected one wire in the previous parallel demonstration and that's because that for virtually all trailers anywhere, the negative, not ground, because trailers don't wire to ground but you'll see it referred to as ground anyway because people are derpy, the negative gets connected to the middle frame. Then the frame is connected to the negative on your backup battery and your wiring harness and you're good to go. Speaking of wiring harnesses, if you're building a new trailer like I did or you have to repair an old one, put some real thought into getting a new harness. You can see what a rat's nest I had left over from my trailer before and if you're watching this video, I imagine yours is probably not in much better shape. So for $40, I got a 7-pin harness linked below. This gave me clean and clear terminals that I could use to attach all the individual functions, which makes life easier now and also in the future if I ever have to diagnose any problems. Now, while this is a complete trailer wiring tutorial, there's not a lot of point going into what each wire color does because there are at least six different standards for wiring and you'll need to figure out which your tow vehicle is using. Also, if you're doing any major retrofit or repair, it's a good idea to check what's coming out of your tow vehicle using a multimeter anyway, because someone may have miswired or miswire colored things in the past and it's easier to find that out when you start than when you end. Assume you'll have to chase down every circuit using either a voltmeter or a testing light. Hopefully yours will conform to an existing standard, but don't depend on it. This does get back to the diagnose any problems that I mentioned before, though, because even if the wire colors are wrong between your car and your trailer, if you get a new wiring harness with new terminals, it's very quick and easy to switch wires inside your trailer to the matching terminals. Finally, when it comes to wire coloring, I recommend using a black for your negative wires and any other color for the positive. I didn't bother getting seven different colors of wire because that would have cost me seven times as much. As for what gauge of wire to use, since you're working on your trailer wiring, now is a good time to replace your lights to LEDs if they're currently incandescent. LEDs draw such little wattage that basically any conductor thicker than steel wool will do you just fine. I used 20 gauge bell wire that came in small 30 meter or 100 foot spools. Do be careful with how you attach your cables to the frame as staples can easily cut through the insulation on light gauge wiring, creating a short. If you do go with LEDs or already have LEDs, then the orientation of the wiring matters. With incandescent lights, you just need to connect them. Positive and negative will have no effect, but with LEDs, if you don't get the polarity correct, they just won't work. Some lights, like your stop tail turn lights, will have more than one wire. Mine had three. One negative, one for turn, and one for stop. Here we come across the biggest gripe that I had in all of trailer wiring, and that is that the color codes don't make any sense. On all my small LED lights, black is negative. On my turn lights, and on most of the trailer wiring standards, white is negative. On every other DC circuit I've ever seen built, which admittedly isn't very many, including the circuit inside every tow vehicle I've ever seen, black is negative. Once you've got it all hooked up, check it by cycling through the lights from your tow vehicle. 